Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's time for Fiction Friday, and today we're going to look at the 2007 novel Boot Camp by Todd Strasser. I read this book a few years ago, and it just blew my mind. I love books that are actually social activism, books that point out something going on in society that I didn't even know about, wasn't aware that it was a serious issue, and that's just what this book does. Todd Strasser, he did his his research, and this is about an issue that is going on in the United States, though I suppose it could be going on in other countries as well, in which people with a lot of money, wealthy families, parents, are able to send their children to these privatized militaristic camps in order to change them, in order to change their behavior. But it's really bizarre. The beginning of the story, this is a 15-year-old who has made some questionable decisions, some bad Bad choices. His parents don't like what he's been doing with his life. He's gotten into drugs. He's had an affair with a teacher. And of course, there are a lot of consequences for that. But he keeps meeting up with this woman again and again. His parents also say they want him to be more athletic. But they pay a lot of money to have some bounty hunters capture this kid, 15-year-old, and send him off to this camp. It's brutal the way that they treat him once he's there. Not just the people running the camp, but the other kids, the other teenagers that are there at the camp as well. In the story, he managed to manages to befriend a couple of people, but he ends up in isolation a lot. He ends up getting beat a lot. It's a tough story. It's a real struggle. I did enjoy reading it, and I don't want to give you spoilers other than to say... The ending is horrifying. The ending is a realistic ending, so do not expect this novel to be the kind of novel where you just have a happy, wonderful ending at the end of the story. And I think that that makes it more powerful as a message, since Todd Strasser was writing about this important social issue and trying to bring awareness to the problem. It definitely hits home a lot more and makes you think about the issue more because of the fact that it's not a happy ending and not everything that you want to see. And part of that is, you know, even though this teenager has made some bad decisions and is doing some things that he shouldn't be doing, he's still a nice person. Like, underneath the, the layers of what he's been through, he's a good guy. And so it's really, really frustrating to see all this happen. Of course, even someone who's not necessarily the best person in the world still does not deserve to go through the kind of intense, torturous treatment of this type of facility. The book was written in 2007, but these type of institutions still exist today. And to me, that is scary. The idea that there's a private, multiple private organizations operating in our society in which some Someone can be captured, effectively kidnapped, stolen by these bounty hunters, and forced to go into what is a prison-like environment, a prison military school, really forced to behave a certain way. The, you know, the way that military training works is they try to break a person down before rebuilding the person, basically reprogramming the person to follow orders and to behave the way that they want in the military. And for people who choose to go into the military, I completely understand that. You know, they make a choice to join the military and to serve in that function, and they should know that that's what they're getting into. But for someone who doesn't make that choice, someone who doesn't want to be in that situation, and especially a minor, you know, someone who's under 18, who's forced into that kind of situation. So scary, so sad that this sort of thing happens. I highly recommend that you read the book. It'll give you a heightened sense of awareness of the issue, but I also think that it's interesting literature. It has gotten mixed reviews. I gave the book four out of five stars. A lot of people really like it. Some people dislike the ending, of course. Some people question some of how just mean that the other teenagers are and that sort of thing, but it felt very realistic to me. Give the book a chance, read it, let me know your thoughts after that you do so. Hope you enjoyed this book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.